Hey, John Cristani here, internet entrepreneur and affiliate marketer. But for those of you who are new to my channel, what you may not know is I recently teamed up with Chris Hansen from uh, NBC's To Catch a Predator in order to help him catch internet scammers, exposing work at home job scams. And in this video, along those same lines, I'm gonna be exposing a massive work at home job scam that came out of our research into this subject at matter. The work at home job is called Mystery Shopper and many people fall for it around the nation. There are many job postings asking people to be mystery shoppers around the nation and that they will send, employers will send you money, send you checks to take to a store to purchase goods with and then you will send them the product that you buy. Now, I'm gonna dive deep into exactly how this scam works and just what makes it too good to be true. On face value, a mystery shopper is a real job and it's a real job that many people do. But in most cases, the mystery job, uh, shopper job is actually a front for a major fraud that can get you put in jail. And I'm gonna be going over the details of exactly how this works so you don't get caught up in this massive work at home job scam. So in this video, I'll be addressing the work at home job scam of being a mystery shopper. Now for a lot of people, it is their dream to just go out and go shopping in stores for a living. I mean, what a better way to actually make money than to shop, who knew? But in most cases, this is actually a front for a sophisticated scam that is run by people in order to defraud you and leave you out of money and them with both the stolen goods and your money. So the next few minutes, I'm not only gonna be going over exactly how this scam works, but also be going over five red flags that you can use to figure out if this is a legitimate work at home job opportunity or if it is a scam. Now, the mystery job, mystery shopper scam works like this. An employer, you'll get, you'll get a job with an employer and they will send you a check to go shopping at a store and purchase goods and maybe do some assessment on the store itself or they'll give you some general mystery shopper activities to do. Now, after you buy the items that you were instructed to buy at the store, you were told to both send the items as well as the remainder, the, the money that you got back from the check to the employer. Now, herein lies the problem is oftentimes the check which you are told to use is a fraudulent check and in effect you are actually what's called kiting money. You are a middleman for a fraud that is going on by scammers who have scammed somebody and found their bank routing details to print up a check in somebody's name illegally. Now money laundering is a serious crime. In fact, it's a felony and being part of a felony means you are instantly put in jail and you can be put in jail for years for doing financial fraud. This is a very serious allegations on top of which you could, if, if you've done it more than once, you can, you can really go to jail for a pretty long period of time. So you don't wanna get stuck in this and if this is the case, you wanna report this to the authorities immediately. So some red flags that you can use to look out for if you are being scammed, if your work at home job opportunity is indeed a real job opportunity, is one, if the employer is using a Gmail address or some sort form of public email address such as at Yahoo or at Hotmail, or at you know, myspace.com, it's most likely a scam because real companies generally use email addresses from their company itself. The next red flag you can look out for is if your interview was done purely via internet chat, you were most likely working with a scammer, okay? Most, many scammers will, as they said, do their, do their interviews via chat and they'll make it very easy to get the job. Anybody who's willing gets the job. And of course, the job sounds great and comes with usually comes with promises of lots of money and easy hours. But once again, if it sounds too good to be true, it often is. 
and these chat interviews aren't real. They're just with usually a Russian or a Chinese or a Nigerian scammer as a way to bait you so you can get their stolen money back to them. The next red flag you'll want to watch out for is if your employer doesn't immediately give you their full name. If you have to dig to actually find your employer's full or potential employer's full name and if they don't have a LinkedIn profile that's a huge red flag because most business people, most people who are in the act who go out and actually hire new employees, they're going to have a LinkedIn profile for themselves. And so if, if it's at all difficult to find their full name or their LinkedIn profile, you're probably dealing with a scam. Fourth red flag you want to watch out for is if it's too easy to get hired. If there's really just BS questions and there really isn't any qualification process whatsoever, you got to think to yourself, why are you getting the job over everyone else? If it's something too easy, you can't trust it. Now the fifth red flag you have to watch out for is if the company has no website or no reviews on sites like Glassdoor, Yelp or what have you. If it doesn't have any of that presence, social media presence whatsoever, you're probably dealing with a scam. Again, if this company is posing as a large company looking for mystery shoppers and they have zero presence, watch out. Now, let me know which was the most helpful red flag here and also let me know if you've ever been scammed by any sort of work at home job opportunity. Let me know in the comments below. There are a lot of work at home job opportunities that are going along and this one will land you in jail because you would be a felon. You would be an accomplice to helping somebody transfer illegal money. This is considered financial fraud. So let me know in the comments which helped you out the most and also make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell if you want to see more videos like this. In this channel I go over both ways you can make money and I'll also be exposing some of the real false flags, the ways that just don't work whatsoever that are completely scams. So this is one of those scams, being a mystery shopper and I hope this helped you out. Check you out in the next video.